Antimedan başla Janasalakaya Caksu Unmelitamiyena Tasmai Shri Gurveena Maha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prastaya Bhutale Shri Bhakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gaudavani Vajadine Nirvishesa Sunyavari Pasyatya De Satarine Panchakalpa Darubhya Kripa Sindhu Bhavacha Patita Nam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namaho Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vansari Gaur Bhakta Rindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Shri Kartik month is also known as the month of Damodar. Krishna appears in his <coughs> In this particular month, we worship the Lord in his form as Sri Damodar, where he is a young, young boy. Even, we even say he is sometimes known as a baby. Hmm. This is also Radharani's month. It's called Jeshwari. She is glorified in this month. Well, as Krishna's month is... <clears throat> is the next month, which is, I um, can't remember the name of the next month, but this month is Radharani's month, and Krishna's month is the next month. Of all the plants, the sacred Tulsi is most dear to me, Krishna says. Of all the months, Kartik is most dear. Of all places of pilgrimage, my beloved Dwarka, is most dear, and of all days, Ikadasi is most dear. So today is also Ikadasi. You know, that, that's from the Padma Purana, from the Uttara Khanda. Offering lamps, some of the things that we should consider for the month of Kartik, which will begin, I believe, on the 19th or 20th of this month. I think it's the 20th. One should be enthusiastic to chant more and chant with more devotion and attention, placing that as a priority in one's worship in this month. We also worship Krishna by offering nice lamps, flowers, incense, and various nice foodstuffs. The practice of celibacy is very much mentioned in this month as one of the austerities that one should perform in order to actually receive the mercy of Sri Damodar in his in this month. Tulsi Devi is high on the list for giving special mercy during this month. One should perform austerities and one should find different ways to give to give in charity to worthy recipients. Another there is a statement, it says, Damodar Astakam Namas Trotam Damara Archinam Nitya Damodar Akkarsi Patte Satya Vrata Uditam. In the month of Kartik, one should daily worship Lord Damodar and sing Damodar Aske, the beautiful eight prayers, glorifying the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Damodar, which pleases the Lord. These prayers are written by the great sage known as Satyavat Muni. Every day, this is a requirement throughout the entire month, one should offer daily a ghee lamp to the Lord and while singing the Dhammadar prayers. Dhammadar prayers are so Namam Nisvaran Satchit Ananda Rupam Latsat Kundalam Gokule Rajamanam Jasoda Mioluka Dwavahamanam Param Dritayan Yatro Dritya Gopya. That's the first verse, and he goes on describing the glories 
of the Supreme Personality of Godhead as he performs his leelas of stealing butter. This is the main activity of the Lord in this movement, getting tied up by his mother and being and pulling down the two Arjuna trees and freeing the two sons, Kubera or Kubera, Mani Griva and Nala Kubara, from being imprisoned in these trees, which was given to them because they acted wrongly and were cursed by Narada Muni. Many wonderful <clears throat> pastimes are part of this month. Uh, on this particular month, there are so many holy days of great souls, personalities. Srila Prabhupada's disappearance is in this month, <clears throat> along with Govardhan Puja and, of course, Diwali. Diwali was the day that Lord Krishna performed his pastime of stealing butter. <clears throat> it happened on the Diwali day. So we, we also worship... Uh, Damodar on that day was because he had performed that leela of stealing butter and being tied up by his loving mother, Mother Yasoda. There is a beautiful verse from Skanda Purana. It says, there is no other month equal to Kartik and there's no other yuga equal to Krita yuga. There are no other scriptures equal to the Vedas. There is no other place of pilgrimage equal to the Ganga. Therefore, the month of Kartik is very dear to the Vaishnavas. So, in this particular month, we should note that whatever devotional service one performs, during this month, one gets twice as much spiritual credit. And if one goes to Vrindavan and performs uh, Kartik, in the land of Sri Vrindavan Dham, then that spiritual credits, mercy is multiplied unlimitedly. One cannot uh, calculate the benefit of performing Dhammadar every day for the whole month. In the holy land of the appearance of Sri Krishna, Sri Vrindavan Dham. So one should take advantage <clears throat> of this month and not just go along and like we ordinarily do. Sometimes we get stuck in our routines and we think our routine is going to save us. We find it convenient to keep a routine. But our routine is to keep our consciousness connected to Krishna. And here is the most beautiful and most auspicious and most beneficial way is to follow this month of Dharmadhar as, as strictly as we can. Another special feature of this month of Dharmadhar is to hear and chant the glories of Krishna and Sri Vrindavan Dham. His Holiness Radhana Swami will be giving a series of lectures during this month, along with other devotees work, working with him or serving with him and we'll be broadcasting those lectures as part of the month of Sri Damodar, which will center around all of Krishna's leelas. So these are some glories. Of, and of course, as we go down the, uh, the list, we can give you a some of the disappearance of Marari Gupta, Lakshmi Puja is here. Saradiya Rasa Yatra is also in this month. There is the appearance of Radhakund and Shamakund. I think that has been changed because that is actually an era, but the calendar still gives that, that date. Anyway, <clears throat> that's another thing. Appearance of Veer Bhadra Prabhu, disappearance of Srila Naratam Das Thakur. Mentioned go with our food, puja, <clears throat> appearance of Rasika Nanda, disappearance of Vashna Ghost, Srila Prabhupada's disappearance, Gopastami, Gostastami, disappearance of Gadadhar Das, Dananjaya Pandit, <clears throat> and uh, 
Also, uh, Raghunath Das Goswami, hmm, beautiful. There is also the disappearance of Gorky Sordas Babaji Maharaj. And the last five days is Bhima Panchika. If one follows Bhima Panchika accordingly, one will get receive great mercy. Disappearance of Bugarbha Goswami and Kashivara Pandit. And the last day is Krishna Rasa Yatra, the marriage of Tulsi, Tuls, Tulsi and Shalagram Vivaha. And the appearance of Nimbarka, <clears throat> all of these great, great holy days and holy personalities will be available for worship and receive, we can receive much benefit in this month of Kartik. So consider this, make your plan. We have <clears throat> almost three weeks before Kartik starts. It's interesting that you asked me to give this uh, class today because tomorrow I will, be, I will be giving class at the Chicago Temple for the Sunday Feast Lecture. It'll be at five o'clock. No, I'm sorry. It'll be about 5.30 uh, <clears throat> uh, Central Standard Time, USA. <clears throat> so if you're able to... Uh, be available those times, try to connect to the Sunday Feast class, and it'll be something similar to what we have <coughs> today. Um, we cannot uh, glorify this particular month. Many great souls have appeared and disappeared in this month, even within our, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> ISKCON society. So take advantage of this month and perform some austerities. It's very uh, much recommended that we reduce our eating as much as we can during this month, eating and sleeping, especially the eating. Some devotees eat only once a day. Um, others uh, restrict certain, uh, what we say, desirable foodstuffs. So there's many ways you can also perform the uh, restrictions in the area of eating and sleeping. Also, this is very, so uh, uh, sometimes we use a little bit of analogy. When you go to a store, sometimes you see a sale sign. It says, buy one and get one free. So, we might use that in a very loose way to say whatever efforts you make in devotional service to this month, it has many, many benefits. And when it's done in Vrindavan, it has unlimited benefit. And um, read about and hear about Krishna's pastimes in Sri Vrindavan Dham. There's a beautiful book that was penned by His Holiness Shiva Ram Swami Maharaj. It is called Dharmadar Janani. Janani means mother, <laughs> mother of Dharmadar. So this book actually glorifies Mother Yasoda. And uh, it, the, the entire pastime in detail with many, many uh, references to many of the great scriptures that you don't necessarily find in the ordinary leelas that are available. If you can get this book, it's called Damodar Janani, and it's a beautiful book. I've read it twice. I could read it again. It's so deep in devotion to Damodar and brings out a lot of the sweetness. This particular pastime is Krishna at his sweetest. When he is in his mood of Damodar, he is very, very uh, sweet and very available to his devotees. So these are some of the things we can look forward to the Damodar month. Prepare now and uh, make your vows for um, how you're going to worship during this month. Mm -hmm. And some temples, most temples have programs in the evening to offer uh, the lamps for Dhammadar. Uh, some temples also do it morning and evening. 
Uh, for instance, if you're in Bhakti Vedanta Manor in London, you'll find they'll do it morning and evening, <clears throat> which is very nice. Um, and I'm not sure what other temples do, but mostly it's worshipped in the evening time because this is when the pastime was actually played itself out. <clears throat> So maybe in one of the future classes, one of the few, I'll speak the entire Leela of Krishna stealing butter and all of the uh, uh, details that come with this wonderful pastime. It was most sweet and most desirable by the great souls. And devotees around the world in all, all areas of spiritual uh, a spiritual life, look forward to this month of Damodar. And don't forget, in this month, there is the Govardhan Puja, which is one of the most important and most joyous celebrations uh, in Krishna consciousness in our ISKCON society and in around the world. So it's a festive month. It's an active month. It is a month of great spiritual benefit. Please take advantage. Don't miss out. Okay, so these are some things we can uh, consider in the upcoming month of Sri Damodar. I can read a few more verses. Um, here, I'll give you a little interesting pastime. You might like this. It says here, one rat a female mouse, actually a female mouse, had once burnt a ghee lamp, had once burnt a ghee lamp, which was offered by someone else on a Kadasi day. By doing so, she achieved a rarely achievable human form and at last attained the topmost designation. Huh, here's the story. Sanatan Goswami writes in his Dig Darshani Tikya, in this verse, it is found that it's possible to attain the results of directly offering a lamp on Ikadasi. The history of the mouth is, mouse is very famous in the Padma Purana, Kartika Mahapya. In the temple of Lord Vishnu, there was a mouse living who was eating the ghee from the extinguished ghee lamps, which had been offered by others to him, to the Lord. One day when she felt hungry to eat ghee, she tried to eat the ghee from the lamp which was not yet extinguished. While eating ghee from the lamp, the cotton wick got stuck in her teeth. Since the ghee wick had a flame, the mouse started jumping in front of the Lord's deity form and thus died due to the fire. But Lord Vishnu accepted the jumping mouse, the jumping of that mouse with the lit ghee in her mouth as his arti. In the end, he gave her liberation, the topmost designation. So here, even an insignificant mouse accidentally dies in front of the deities performing arti and gets the benefit of liberation. So we can see how auspicious this happens in the month of Dhamma. Here's another verse. Any person who worships Lord Dhamma in the month of Kartik in the Mathura area certainly achieves the same form as Lord Sri Krishna himself. Beautiful, beautiful glorification of the Lord. Although a child, Dhruva Maharaj, during the month of Kartik in the area of Mathura worshiped Lord Damodar and immediately become fi became fixed in his devotion and became worshipable by Sonika and other sages, and saw the Supreme Personality of Godhead face to face. Although Mathura, the Raja area, is easily available on earth and Kartik is easily attainable in the year, but oh, what a great misfortune in the side of a, of a, in the side of a human being who are still suffering in the ocean of material existence. In the most month of Kartik, all of the places of pilgrimage, oceans, rivers, and lakes come to material area, but they do not take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. So we can see here how auspicious that area of the world is. <clears throat> Once you take a 
fasting vow for the month of Kartik without any la laziness on the Akadasi, which falls on the light part of the month of Aswini. <clears throat> Hmm. Uh, here there's an entry, oh beautiful lady, specifically, one should not one should not take a vow of fasting in the Kartik month in the home or house. Always the endeavor should be made to go to a place of pilgrimage to make this vow and observe it there. That's a strict one. Here's another one among all the other gopis. Srimati Madharani is the most dear to Lord Krishna. Therefore, in the month of Kartik, one should worship Lord Damodar with Srimati Radharani near his side. Talks about the glories of Govardhan and the worship of Govardhan in this month either. Uh, much emphasis is on fasting, offering lamps, and performing <clears throat> and going for worship and <clears throat> performing worship of Dambadar in the holy places. Okay, so I'll uh, conclude there and see if we have any. Devotees that would like to speak something. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, thank you so much uh, for the nice class on Kartik month. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Devotees, if you have any questions or comments or realizations, please go ahead. Thank you. No one? Mm -hmm. Sri Devi Mataji, you raised your hand. You can go ahead, Mataji. Thank you. Dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Guru Dev. Thank you for this uh, beautiful reminder about Dabodar month, uh, which is coming up. Uh, Guru Maharaj, would you please relate that? Uh, uh, narrative about uh, I mean just that uh, the end portion where Mother Yashoda is not able to tie up baby Gopal and then finally Radharani's ribbon or something like that I don't remember the details but I remember you telling us about this in uh, Govardhan Eco Village when we were there it was very sweet I would like to hear that part again well that, that I'll narrate in the entire pastime but for now, it's mentioned by Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati in one of his writings. Um, and he mentions that uh, Mother Yasoda, along with the, the village ladies, had brought so many ropes to tie up Damodar, but nothing was successful. It was always two inches too short. Finally, Srimati Radharani, who was in a very small Radharani, she was baby-like, same as age as Krishna. She came and she took the tie, the ribbon from her hair, and gave it to Mother Yasoda. Mother Yasoda tied that piece of cloth around the rope. And uh, when that happened, Krishna got tied up. So that's mentioned by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati in one of his writings and uh, so therefore therefore we say Radha Dambudar we don't say Yasoda Dambudar we say Radha Dambudar and in Vrindavan in the Radha Dambudar temple both in Vrindavan and in uh, <clears throat> what's the name of that place oh I can't think of it Hmm. 
where many of the uh, original Vrindavan deities reside, uh, Jaipur, in Jaipur, the original Radha Damodar is there, and they also perform that pastime there. And Radharani has a vine, and she's wrapping, she's holding the vine with both hands, and it's wrapped around Krishna. And therefore, she see Radha Damodar. Swaha, what is your question? Mm -hmm. Devotees should turn on their cameras because I'm just looking at blank screens with names. I like to speak to an audience when I'm speaking. You can see me, but I can't see you. That's not fair. All the devotees should put their cameras on. You don't have to blow it up to make it a full screen. Just put your camera on. Giving a class to a blank screen with a bunch of names is, I can do that, but it's not really very personal. I know some of you are maybe just getting up in the morning, so, <laughs> and you haven't either. But when you ask a question, at least put your camera on. Good <clears throat> morning. Should I read the question on the chat? Wow, Swaha. Can you can you can you appear? Yes. Yeah, there you there you go. A devotee, Hari Bo. Nice to see you. Uh, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. So I wanted to ask a few questions. So first question is uh, that I saw one video in YouTube. Uh, where one person was making candles, ghee candles, uh, and he was putting tulsi branches, small tulsi branches in each um, candle. And, and I'm not sure it's uh, bona fide uh, to put tulsi because it will be burned. So, but it, it, he was telling that because of Tulsi, Lord accepts it. And another question I have about uh, Srila Prabhupada and uh, uh, what austerities he was performing um, during Kartik month, if you know, and what he, um, uh, what he was advising for his disciples, what austerities to follow. Well, I'll answer the second question first. And we can see that if you listen to the lectures that Prabhupada spoke, he said, mm, with all the devotees, he's giving a morning class. He said, this is the month of Kartik. All of the devotees should come together this evening at 7.30 in front of the deities and we will perform the chanting of the Dhammadar prayers. And offer, we will offer our Gilad to the Lord. That's as much as Prabhupada gave. He didn't really get into a lot of his personal austerity means he followed that process also. Yeah. Sometimes great souls perform extra austerities and sometimes they don't because their whole life is is just pure devotion. So pure devo in pure devotion, all the austerities are already there. <laughs> There's no need for extra. Uh, and Prabhupada encouraged us to follow it the, uh, the entire month. So if we can do that much every day, uh, offer the candle. But because we are still very much attached to the material world and material sense gratification, we should, you know, perform some extra austerities, which helps us to free ourselves from these attachments, such as fasting and less sleep, going to holy places if, if, it, if it's at all possible. 
and singing the Dhammadharaska with other devotees together like that. Not oh, offering, okay. not offering candles, but offering giwicks. And sometimes we see people use candles instead of giwicks. That's not acceptable. You should make the giwicks from scratch, put it in the ghee, and offer those. It's actually giwicks, not lighted candles. Okay, that's uh, that's some of the things about the first one. Srila Prabhupada gave a whole list of rules and regulations and restrictions on Tulsi Devi. And a lot of times he, in some of those, he talked about we shouldn't create our own ideas on how to worship Tulsi. Just follow the principles like that. So that person who's saying that, he's just making his own idea. So if everybody gets into their own idea, then what do we have? We just have people just misusing Tulsi. We're trying to make some money by selling items with Tulsi as part of the items like that. Well, better not, better not to listen to these extra things that are being given to us. Speculation yes. mostly. Yes, thank you very much uh, about austerities, about food austerities. So we should um, ourselves decide what to eat, what not to eat, and how much to eat. Or there are some, some specific items uh, which um, people you, are avoiding to use at this time. Well, in that month, there is still the month of Kartik, and so there is the four restrictions for each month. First month is no spinach, the second month is no yogurt. The month we are in now, there is no milk, and the fourth month, there's no ordal. So ordal is uh, not, not cooked, in, and ordal is in poppers, so popper dams. If you see popper dams, you mostly find they're made from ordal. So we avoid poppers in that month and the actual dal itself. But as far as your eating austerities, you have to determine what you would like to perform. That's up to the individual. Thank you very much, Gurudev. That's Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Devotees, any more questions? Uh, I have one about uh, fasting uh, for the milk for one month. Turn, uh, on, your, turn on your camera. Mm -hmm. I think somehow it doesn't work, I think. My uh, cell phone somehow. Oh, okay. Yeah, something I had uh, probably tell. Uh, like uh, this month, like milk, you know. So we usually offer like milk in the morning and mostly make up uh, offering to it. So how goes that one? I didn't understand the question. Uh, the milk offering, like no fast for like uh, the milk, like fast from whole month. Yeah. But uh, we offer like every day, you know, the maha, the, maha, uh, the milk. You know, so how we avoid that, I was wondering. No, you, you can offer to the deities. The deities don't fast. It's you that fast. But then uh, I don't like to throw So what I do, I just keep this month for milk, you know, because uh, I don't want to throw away the uh, maha, maha, so I drink, you know. So is it okay if I keep the milk maybe this month? So I usually just keep the milk, you know. Other three I start trying to follow, you know. Milk, because mostly things we make up the like sweet and all things of the milk, you know. You want like a rubber? Um, if you're worried about waste, yeah, that's a very important thing. Let's see, what, what are some of the options? I'll talk to you when I see you. We can discuss. Okay. All right. But in general, you take that milk and it's Maha Prashadam milk. And maybe you, what you can do is uh, use it to add to other preparations that are already cooked and just add to it. Rumara, 
much can you take that offered milk and then turn it into yogurt and then have it? Well, the idea is not to waste. Yeah. Yeah, that would be an option. The idea is don't throw it away. You Shout could freeze it. it. You can freeze it, yeah, and keep it and then make. But then, uh, off, like, offerings like almost every day, and other stuff, we like almost most of the sweet come from me making from the milk, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so, find, find out ways not to, to not to throw it away. Mm -hmm. Mix it in with something else, and then it's not just straight milk you're drinking. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anyone else? <laughs> Good, Maharaj. I think um, there are no more questions. Okay. So um, well, let's see. Tomorrow. Yeah, I should be available tomorrow. Um, with my topsy turvy schedule, the last week has been just traveling, different time periods, different programs, different schedules. So it's good to send me a a text message reminder. Yes, good minute. Sure, definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. Gurmaraj, for your time and association this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Gurmaraj. Hare Krishna. Thank you for choosing that topic. I think it was Swaha that chose the topic. Yes, yes Gurmaraj. Very good.